The steep slopes of the mountains of Central and South America harbor an incredible diversity of animals and plants, and there remain many mysteries to be solved. Among these plants are the species of the Melastome genus Axinea. Axinea species grow as shrubs and small trees, but the most exciting parts of the plant are its flowers. In most species, the petals are pinkish or reddish and form a bowl around the reproductive organs. One's attention is immediately drawn to the center of the flower with the conspicuous bulbous yellow structures. These structures are the appendages of the male organs, the stamens. The pollen is concealed in the elongated structures attached to these appendages, the anthers. However, not all flowers of Axinea look like these with their ten stamens. A great proportion of the flowers on the trees are empty in the sense that their stamens are missing. When we set out for field work to Ecuador and Costa Rica, we really wanted to find out how and why these stamen appendages disappear. From herbarium specimens, we knew that stamens were missing from many flowers of Axinea species, and we thought that these stamens may be involved in the pollination process, probably as a pollinator reward. So what we did when we came to the field in Ecuador was to put up cameras in the rainforest to monitor any floral visitor that would come to the flower. And this came as a surprise. A blue-winged mountain tanager feeding on the stamens of Axinea confusa in the Podocarpus National Park and taking out the stamens one by one. We did definitely not expect to find birds coming to feed on the flowers of Axinea. We had expected the stamens to probably be a food body reward, but food bodies on male reproductive organs have only been described for basal angiosperm lineages, to which Axinea does not belong. And also, food bodies on reproductive organs have only been known from beetle pollination and definitely not from bird pollination before, which makes the case of Axinea even more exciting and more novel to science. However, the story does not only stop at Axinea providing food bodies for birds, but also the interaction is much more complex. When the birds come to the plant, land on a branch and visit the flowers, the first thing they will do is to pick a stamen with their beak. And when they seize the stamen with their beak, a jet of pollen is expelled from the apical anther paw and lands on the bird's head and beak. And then when the bird continues foraging to take out another stamen from another flower, it will unintentionally contact the stigma of a neighboring flower and thus transfer pollen and thus complete the pollination process. We went back to the lab to find out how this pollen expulsion mechanism works. It is possible to imitate a bird's beak by using tweezers or fingers to compress the appendages, with the same result, the ejection of a pollen cloud. What we are dealing with here is a complex bellows mechanism. Axinea stamen appendages are made up of very loosely packed erenchymatous tissue. We calculated that about 38% of the total appendages volume is air. You can compare this to a balloon. The appendages epidermis conforms to the outer plastic layer of a balloon. And if you compress this balloon, the contained air needs to go somewhere. And the only opening is the connection zone to the anthers, which contain the pollen. So, all the air is pressed into the hollow anthers and the conjured air current flushes out the pollen grains from the apical pore. Now we knew how the bellows system worked, but why would the birds eat these appendages if they contain so much air? The thing to do was to go back to the lab again to analyse the chemical composition of the appendage tissue. We did gas chromatography mass spectrometry on the appendage tissue and found out that it is extremely sugary. Also, the caloric value with about 360 kilocalories per 100 grams is high and comparable to tropical fruits. This means that the nutritive reward for the birds must be kept in the ramified vascular bundles in the otherwise erenchymatous appendage. 
The pollination system of Axinea is special because it involves this rare food body reward with bird pollination, but also because it is another example of a pollinator shift in the tropical Andes. The majority of melastomes, so the family that Axinea belongs to, is pollinated by bees, and there are very few cases where pollinator shifts have occurred in the melastomes to hummingbird or bat pollination, and nowadays we know to passerine pollination in Axinea as well. I find it amazing that in the 21st century you can go out to nature and discover something new. I think that shows how little we still know about our biodiversity, how important it is to focus on organismic research as well, and also it emphasizes the importance of nature protection, especially in those tropical areas that are threatened by deforestation.